Hi, I'm Jess Cordova Kramer. I'm the CEO and co founder of Lemonada Media, and we're super excited to be here to celebrate the launch of Lemonada and also to see the incredible Sinead Burke on stage live with Jamie Lee Curtis. I'm Stephanie Whittles Wax. I am a co founder and chief creative officer of Lemonada Media, and I'm also here to celebrate this lovely woman right here and her new podcast, As Me with Sinead. Hi, I'm Sinead Burke and I am hosting a new show, as these extraordinary women said, from Lemonada Media called As Me with Sinead, which is about empathetic, interesting, deep conversations with extraordinary people. We're talking to people about who they are in a very authentic and emotional way. I think often when we have conversations globally, we talk about the personal being the political. And despite not using that as the mantra for the show, that is the actual manifestation of it. Because when we talk about our bodies, we are talking about the world in which we exist and whether or not we feel safe or equitable to be in those spaces. So in terms of activism, asking people to talk about who they are couldn't be more important or relevant than it is right now. Because so often we've lived in a world where only certain people have been allowed to tell their stories. And this show is about giving every person to share their perspective in the most transparent and beautiful way. And for me, that's activism. For me, the first question is always, is it useful? If you have a spotlight on yourself, if you have an audience or a community who are listening, what are you saying that's impactful, that's purposeful, that can give people the tools to then go and try to be activists themselves, to try to create change in their own way, whether that's around the dining room table at home, whether that's in the school playground, or whether that's in the world in which we live, we all have a responsibility to do that. So for me, when it comes to the term influencer, the follow-up question is always, well, what are you influencing, how and who? Mm -hmm. And I think we all have a responsibility to do that because whether or not you have 100,000 followers or a million followers on Instagram, we each have people in our lives who we can and should influence. When, you, when you're dealing with video, there's typically lots of people in the room, right? A set is the most crowded place in the world, <laughs> you know? <laughs> when you are dealing with podcasting, there's something so, um, like Jess said, intimate about being in a room, right? With a microphone and one other person perhaps, where you feel the space to be vulnerable. And so I think that it, it sort of gives you this sort of cocoon, a studio feels like this cocoon to really express what you're feeling. And, and so that really goes along with what we're trying to do, right? That vulnerability, podcasting I think lends itself to that. And I think finally, from my perspective, audio is such an important medium, but often, particularly within the disabled community, can be inaccessible. So one of the things that I'm very proud of in terms of being part of Lemonada is that we are transcribing every single episode in time with the episode's release so that lots of different people can access it through different mediums and in different ways so that conversations aren't just for those who can hear. It's for whoever wants to participate.